Hello guys, Mr. Rossi 1990 here, and this is X Squads. This is the IAX version of X Squads. This is an X Squad which I came out with for them. Took me a lot of research into this because I didn't know many IAX players. I knew like obviously quite a few of them because they're quite big name players, but I wanted to make the best kind of possible team I could out of this. And it's actually got 100 chemistry, which is quite good, obviously, with the manager, which we've gone for Frank De Boer, who I do believe is their current manager. I'm not 100% on that. But there's also Martin Yell, who is an ex-manager, but this guy was already in formation for me, so I thought that would probably be easier instead of going out and buying a formation card. So Frank De Boer is our manager. Let's start with the goalkeeper. We have Stecker Lundberg, who, of course, now plays for Roma, but he played for Ajax a while ago. I'm not too sure when these play for um, Ajax, but I know he's for sure did. I looked into the internet about all that, and he was the best goalkeeper. So he's in goal with centre-back number one. On the right-hand side, we've chose Shivu. Pretty average player on the game, nothing special, but he played for Ajax. I've gone with a flat f uh, free back because there's not many defenders. There's not many right back or left backs, which I could find. So here we've gone with these ones. We've also got the second inform heighting guy. He was quite expensive because it was when he was playing for Netherlands in the Euro. So prices all rose. Just for hype, I'm thinking, not really sure much else on that. He he played for Ajax not that long ago, actually, I don't, do believe. With uh, Vermaelen, who obviously now plays for Arsenal. Went with his normal version, because in form was like 50k, and I really didn't want to be spending that much on these players, because I've got to resell them, so I lose quite a lot of money in that way. But Vermaelen there in the defence, because he's obviously played for Ajax as well. On the left-hand side, we have Inform Pina, who is 14k. Can't really say no to that, can we? He was already in formation, so... He's a decent player on the game, played for Ajax in real life, of course, went to Everton, I think. I'm not sure if he went straight to Everton from Ajax, but then he went to Tottenham. Back at Everton, probably back at Tottenham now, not too sure about that. We've got him in the Everton version. Somebody who does play for Tottenham, though, is Van der Vaart. We bought a centre mid version there for 13k. It's probably quite expensive, but I just bought whatever cheapest on the market was at the time in my formations. It's easiest for me. So he's actually played in the centre mid with the legend himself, which is Clarence Sadoff. Of course, he played for Ajax. 26k he actually cost me. He's pretty bad on the game purely because he's 37 at pace. I quite like my pacey players, so he's nothing special there for me anyway, my personal reasons. But he's an absolute legend, so he's in the centre mid. And on the right hand side, I've chosen Schneider. Because there's not many right midfielders in this. And I thought Schneider had to be in there. I had to have him in midfield. So he's probably the paciest out of the three. I could have had on right mix if I had Sadoff on right. But there's no pace there at all. So we chose Schneider. Who's got 79 pace. Which isn't too bad for a right mid. He's getting 7 chem there as well. Which is pretty good. Because he's got two nice strong green bars there. Because of same club and same league and nationality reasons. We've gone for the informant to land. Not the team of the season one. I was trying to get someone to lend me the team of the season once. But I didn't really want to pan out any longer it took a while to get these buggers in because i didn't have very many coins at all so we went with him he's pretty good actually i haven't actually played a game with him yet i will be um having some goals at the end of this one probably me talking over the goals at the end because it's going to be a shorter one because i don't know many about much about these people so i can't really talk about them like i know what 100 low is of course but i don't know what he did for ajax etc i know he played for them that's all i know We've gone with the very, it's a very good strike force actually. It's Hunter like Ibrahimovic on the side here. He cost me 51k, which is a snatch in my opinion. His price has dropped considerably over time. He used to go for like 150k or something, but then obviously his inform came out. And then he's obviously got that 94 team of the season one, which I would have loved to have, but no one really had him for me to lend. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to have the 88, which is quite, you know, I'm quite happy with that. We've also got Suarez here, the upgraded Suarez. I did have the 88 Suarez, but I sold him to make money to buy the rest of the players. So we bought the 87 version, 15k, which is quite nice. He's a very good player, actually. Probably the best player in the team, card ratings-wise, if we compare it to Ibrahimovic. Yeah, they're both pretty darn good, to be honest. So that's the team, which is very good. As I said, getting 100 cam. A couple of people in there getting 6 cam, obviously, because no bar links for them. I could have probably had Ibrahimovic there. Uh, I'm not too sure what that would have done. If I'd had maybe Schneider, say, instead of Van der Vaart or something like that, that would have quite got quite good links, but he's obviously playing striker. So we'll put it that way. See, we've got on the bench here a minute. We have got a substitute goalkeeper, which is Lob Lobont. He also plays for Roma, the same as Stecker Lundberg, but he played for Ajax quite a while ago, I do believe. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Maxwell, PSG, he's a left-back option, but obviously there is no uh, left-back in this team. So as I said, there's no right-back, which I could find. Still in the game, obviously, they've had some players which are now retired. We've also got Snow. Look at Snow, Evander Snow. He is awful, but he did play for Ajax not so long ago, so he's in the team. We've also got Crondelli, who I think, did he score the first goal in Euros? I'm not too sure. He definitely scored for Denmark. 
very good goal as well. And he used to play for Ajax not so long back as well, so he had to be there. Also, Ryan Babel, I'm sure you all are aware, did play for Liverpool. Now playing for Hoffenheim. I think this is the upgraded version. And, yeah, he's pretty average. But, again, there's no left wing in this, so I could probably convert him to a left mid if I had to. But Pienaar was probably the better option. We could have um, Leon... Leonardo, sorry, Leandro, I was going to say that. Right mid, if we actually wanted a right mid there, but he doesn't get as many links as Schneider does, and of course, Schneider's just a better player overall. And then we've also got, as a last player, Inform Benny McCarthy. What a beast. Got him for 16k, which I think is quite good for an Inform. Um, yeah, nothing special really about him, personally, but I like that strike force a lot, so I'm going to go with that strike force. That's the team, guys. I'm going to quickly go score some goals this team. I haven't played with the team yet. Give a little review on the end of it, and yeah, I'll be right back when that's all done. So, see you in a second.